Hi friends, today we're going to be doing an update on our Chinese Elm forming Decidus branch structure. So we have a couple changes we want to make on this tree um, to improve the branch structure and, and make the tree look better overall for the shape. So there's a few primary branches that we're going to be moving in this video. The first one is the bottom left on this side, the first primary branch, and we're going to be bringing it down to give it better better balance in the primary branches. So we'll have one branch down here on the bottom, the next primary branch here, and then here and here. Um, this one back here is going to move up and forward. This one here is going to curve up a little bit. And probably we're going to remove, we're going to have to do some branch selection here and remove one of these secondary branches here uh, because we're going to have to, if we can't move one to the side so that they alternate, we'll be removing some of this here just to create some more negative space. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this primary branch here. Using one millimeter gauge wire, I have my pliers and wire cutters. The length of the wire we're going to cut is just a little bit longer than the length of the branch, giving a little bit extra to wrap around the base of the trunk. So we'll cut off our length of wire and we'll start with this branch. So then we'll wrap, once we've made our, our anchor at the bottom here, we're just going to wrap it at a 45 degree angle all the way up the length of the branch. Just making sure we move the secondary branches and tertiary branching, the third branches, out of the way. Yeah, and honestly, probably would have been better to do this on the first styling of the tree that I posted the volume one video about a month, to, about two months ago now, uh, as I'm moving this branch, lowering it now, um, just saying that you know, it, it probably would have been better to do this when I first uh was styling the tree and doing the initial wiring but sometimes it's like that you'll just notice things as you're observing your trees and you'll say oh i should have wired I wired this branch a little bit lower to get better movement all over the tree 
as you see this this when we lower it it gives better balance to the overall look of the tree um, so we have a, a primary branch on this side primary branch over here and they alternate as they go up so it just gives better overall aesthetics for the tree now we have this branch which as you see crosses over that's not aesthetically pleasing for the tree so we want to move that up out of the way so it doesn't cross over the branches behind it for this one since it's a little bit thicker than the branch we used on the lower side uh, than the branch we started on the low side over here the first primary branch I'm going to use the 1.5 millimeter gauge wire a little bit thicker this is one millimeter so for this top branch here since it's a little thicker we're going to go with the 1.5 millimeter again the length a little bit longer than the length of the branch. Now, before I start wiring this, I want to look at these secondary branches here and start planning out how we're going to deal with this. So are we going to alternate and make this one go to the... To the to the right and this one go to the left like that so they alternate or should I remove one I think in this case um, this one is a little bit close to the trunk and it's kind of crowding the apex of the tree so I, I think for the 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 long like the progression of this tree overall it's going to be better to just remove that branch so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off now because it's going to make my wiring a lot easier. And I possibly could get a little cutting out of this branch too, if I root it. So we remove that one there. So you see, it clears up a lot of the space in the apex and gives us more negative space to work with. And then this will probably make a good cutting to root and then possibly develop into a small mime Chinese zone. Just making sure to move the smaller branches out of the way as I'm winding the wire up the length of the branch.
So now we've finished the wrapping the wire. I'm going to cut off the excess wire and then we will move our brain. So, as we see, when we work our way up the apex, we have one, two, which this one could also go a little more like curve at the bottom, so it's not just going straight angle down. Remember, curved angles always look better than straight lines. So if I take this branch and give another bend here, it's going to be much more visually appealing than just going straight down at an angle. So we'll go ahead and take care of that right now, really quickly. The easy branch, so we're going to go with the one millimeter gauge wire. It's not too long yet. Okay. Wrap the wire around the length of that branch, and I'm going to go ahead and cut off our excess wire. Okay. And we'll just give us that little curve I was talking about at the end of the branch to give it some more movement. We're going to go back a little as well. So, so, a little more movement on that branch. So, as we go up, we have one, two, three, and this one has to go up a little more. Four. And we possibly are going to have to do some branch selection between these two. Um, we'll see which one is stronger, more developed branch. And finally, the last thing we have to do uh, on the primary branches before working on the apex is just move this branch back so it's not going forward at the front of the tree. Yeah, so the last thing we're going to do is move this branch forward. So it's not just going straight, crossing, again, crossing other branches. So we don't want cross branches. We don't want branches, one branch behind the other, to cross over. We want to give nice, even symmetry. And this is a thicker branch, so we're going to use the 1.5 millimeter gauge wire.
anchor the wire on the base of the branch once again. for excess wire. And move our branch. This secondary branch will be lifting up a little bit later on in our development. But in the meantime, let's just fix this cross branch. front of our tree so we have much more balanced branch structure now I've eliminated a lot of these cross branches um, and we'll just continue the progression of our tree what I'm going to do now is spray it down with insecticidal soap and neem oil just to make sure any pests are taken care of and the tree can you know flourish on its progression and next we're going to be finishing up the apex doing some branch selection on the top and uh, wiring it to have a clearly defined apex and then maybe doing some branch selection here and deciding if there's some branches we want to take off and some that are better to be left maybe create some negative space up here but overall I'm happy with how the tree's coming out um, just need to give it some water sun and spray it down with the insecticidal soap to prevent any pests from preventing it from uh, flourishing into a beautiful, developed Chinese elm bonsai tree. All right, thank you, friends. That's the update on this bonsai. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to post. And don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much.